Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here, and it's uh, my girlfriend's birthday today, hence the balloon behind me. Anyways, today I want to talk about INTP subtypes. Now, I've documented four particular INTP subtypes, and I've done a lot of testing and a lot, a lot of research, so I've run the numbers on the INTPs, and I see that the INTPs can be split into four different groups, depending on healthy variations in cognitive functioning. So this is not unhealthy and healthy types, it's just small variations in how INTPs have developed to use their cognitive functions. Now, first of all, all INTPs follow a certain uh, set of cognitive traits. All INTPs value introversion, intuition, thinking and perceiving. And all INTPs have introverted thinking as one of their strongest core functions. It's their dominant flow function. That means it is the function you notice the most in an INTP when they are confident in themselves and when they are expressing themselves fully. Now, the first INTP subtype is this TI subtype, and it's the most pure version of an INTP you can encounter. It's the most easy one to type correctly. So if you are an INTP TI subtype, you'll recognize yourself in a lot of the INTP traits listed online. But if you are an INTP FE, extroverted feeling subtype, you'll find it more difficult to relate to this type. You could say that INTP FE type is the most average INTP in the sense that their stats are closer to the middle where the INTP TI subtype is the most extreme version of an INTP because their stats are more skewed towards uh, top, you could say 1% of the INTPs are the, the most stereotypical of INTPs. Now, the INTP TI subtype is the hacker. That means this is a type that likes to thinker, test, weigh options, counter, uh, think about the world tactically and logically, analyze, rationalize, describe, and understand the universe and the laws of the universe. Now, INTPs, they can kind of go in two different directions when it comes to intuition and sensing. They can either go towards extroverted intuition or they can go towards introverted sensing. In terms of development, what I see as the extroverted intuitive INTP is more inclined to testing and experimentation, where the SI type is more focused on clinical data and analyzing and processing information and validating it, testing the source, making sure you have the correct information, correct data, correct numbers. That means as an INTP, how long are you prepared to spend number crunching? <laughs> the INTP SI subtype, the academic, is more of a person that spends more time in the lab analyzing results, where the INTP NE type is more the experimenter, the tester, the one that goes more out into the world to gather data and feedback and to run the hypotheses and to see could this work, could that work, could this be possible? Now. When looking at the INTP for subtypes, what you see is often the INTP TI subtype knows they are correct. The INTP TI subtype always thinks they know it all. They feel like they have the right answer. They feel they know it. They feel they figured it out. They feel like they are the smart smartest people in the room. And they can find that it's difficult to collaborate with other people because other people are often stupid or incorrect about a lot of things. What you see in the any subtypes is this, uh, what you say, boldness, courage, but also creativity, because any subtype is prepared to be wrong and is more comfortable being wrong. That means this subtype is more comfortable taking risks, trying out new things, jumping into the mix, just be, uh, seeing what will happen and then being like, oops, that was not what I intended, but hey, that was still interesting. I still learned something. So what you see in the ME subtype is this desire to learn, this curiosity, this infinite, endless curiosity that can almost make you feel like you're an ENTP, only you still value TI the most. It's not that this is a daredevil tester that just jumps into everything and is just crazy. Uh, it's that this is a TI type that wants to be right, that wants to figure things out. And so you're running experiments, you're figuring things out just because you want to know the right answer, and that desire to find the right answer is what shows you are a discernment lead type, a thinking type, rather than an intuitive type. Your thinking score is always going to be higher than your intuition score, because you're thinking 
your specialized introverted thinking dominates your priorities. It's the first core most important thing you do. It's what you want, the end result. And intuition, whatever you do there, the sensing, it's more a tool, it's more a means to an end. That means learn to distinguish between this. The SI subtype strikes itself off from other INTPs in the sense that they have higher patience. So when you compare yourself to uh, an SI subtype or an NE subtype, what you'll find is, yeah, the SI subtype is always going to be more patient, more prepared to sit down with things, to let things simmer, to process, to uh, think, could this be right? Could that be right? Could this work? Could that work? And so often this academic type wants to have credentials. They want to have respect. They want to be known for being right. So you want to build a reputation for yourself for being correct and for having the right answers, for, for knowing how things work and for consistently being able to prove that you know what you're talking about. So it's not just enough to be right, but it's also important for you to show that you're right, to show that you've done your research, to have accurate sources, to have accurate information, to have accurate feedback on everything you do, to really be able to understand your own work and your own ideas and your own process and where it comes from. Finally, we have the INTPFE subtype. And I call this subtype the teacher. The teacher is more oriented by connecting to the audience in the sense of helping other people reach the same results you did, teaching what you've discovered to other people, sharing your results and your insight with others, being an expert for others, somebody that can really help people figure out how the world works. So you want to make the world smarter, you want to educate the world, you want the world to be more intelligent than what it is. And so you're very eager to share your latest ideas, your latest findings, uh, your latest discoveries, and to help other people understand these things. So it's also important for you to be understood. So while the TI subtype is okay with having conflict and having tension and being misunderstood and uh, so and doesn't really waver because they know they're right and what does it matter what other people think. The INTP FE type is more sensitive to what other people think and wants their answers and their insight to be of help to other people. So if you work for a company as an FE subtype, an extrovert feeling subtype, you're trying to help your use your answers to be valuable to your team. And you care about this because perhaps you have fear, perhaps you have anxiety that if you don't, the tribe will find you useless or will kick you out or will struggle with you. So it's also about preserving yourself and self-preservation. The emotional drives of these subtypes are all clear. To me, the INTP TI subtype is trying to avoid judgment from the people by dissociating from it, by not caring. As an INTP introverted thinking subtype, the hacker, you just don't want to think about what other people think. You just want to put it away. But be careful because this could come back and it could be piling up behind your back. And all these things, all these feet, all this criticism, all this tension, all this negativity from other people might come back to bite you. The INTP any subtype is just trying to escape from boredom. They're just trying to keep themselves busy with new things. And so they never take the time to really process their insight or their discoveries. They're never uh, taking back because they're afraid of being wrong. You know, they have always assume that they're right. They always assume that they know what they're doing. And they're afraid to be wrong and to find out that they have been wrong. So they just uh, promiscuously just uh, jump from one data point, one theory to another, without any hinges or rules or restrictions at all. The SI subtype, the academic, is afraid of the real world, you know, afraid of the real data, the real events that's happened around you. So you're just trying to be right in your head, but you don't really care about what's happening out in the world. You're not actually thinking about the results you want to get from being right. You're not thinking about the conclusions, the outcomes, the opportunities you could get if you harnessed your ideas. You're just thinking about how to make sure you protect your back, basically, uh, so that uh, there are no consequences, no, no 
fears, no problems to come to kick you back later. So all these subtypes have their fears and worries. The INTP FE teacher subtype is afraid of and constantly worried about what other people think about them and if other people understand them. So uh, learn to think about how your fears can control you and how you function and learn to find healthy ways to function and to express yourself and to use these things to your benefit and strive towards balance. Balance is key. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.